Okay, so let's start refractoring our API using class-based views instead of these definitions that we have. So in our views.py, we're going to come down to this post list method. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. And we're going to say class post list. And we're going to pass in the API view. And we need to import this. So we'll come down here and we'll say from REST framework dot views import API view. And we're going to clean some of this up as well. So we don't need, after this tutorial, so after we, after we refractor this into class-based views, we will not you we will not use this anymore and we also do not need these anymore this we could have removed last time but that's okay okay so now that we clean that up a little bit let's jump back here to our post list class so again this is listing all the posts or creating a new post so inside of here, we are going to have our methods. So instead of having an if statement for get, we're going to make that its own method. So we're going to say def get, we're going to pass in self, pass in request, and say format equals none. We need the posts equals post.objects.all. We need to serialize it. And we need to return the response with the data. So now we can get rid of this. And then down here, we're going to do the same for post. We're going to pass in self, request, and format equals none. And we need this serializer equals post serializer. Passing in the data. We need to check if it's valid. We need to save. And we need both of these return statements. So let's go ahead and copy that. Delete this because we don't need it. And paste that there. All right, so that's the first class-based view. And we're going to do the same for the second detail view. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to say class post detail. And we're going to pass in API view. And then here, we're going to have our get put and delete methods, as well as a get object method. So we can retrieve our object. And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to make that its own method. So we're going to say def get object, pass in self and the identifier and then we're going to copy this try and accept paste that here and we're going to change a couple of things here so in here we don't need to say post equals post object I get because that's being passed in here so we just want to return post dot objects dot get where pk is equal to pk and then except post dot does not exist we're going to use some error handling and say raise http 404 and this right here we're going to need to import from django.http import http 404. Now that's all set. So let's work on our get. So we'll say def get. And we're going to need self. We're going to need the request. 
we're going to need the pk and the format equals none. So we have to get the post. So we're going to say post equals self dot get object. Pass in pk. And then we're going to say serializer equals post serializer post. And then we're going to return the response with the data. There we go. Now we can get rid of this. Next, we need a put method. We're going to have self request pk and format equals none. Copy and paste that here. Inside here, we're going to say post is equal to self dot get object again. And then we can copy serializer equals post serializer, passing in the post and the data. And then we can check if it's valid. We're still saving it, and we're we are still returning the same stuff. So we'll copy all of that, delete this, paste that there. Okay, good, the format is still good. All right, so that was put, and last we need delete. Speed this up a little bit, we need the same stuff. And then inside here, we are saying post is equal to self.getObject again, just like we've been doing. And we're going to call post.delete and return this status. Okay, so now that we refactored this into class-based views, we now need to edit our urls.py. So inside here we have path posts views dot. We need to change this. So now we have class-based views. So we can say post list dot as view. <clears throat> and then we can say the same thing down here. Views dot views dot post list dot as view, but we don't want the post list, we want the post detail. And these are the two classes that we made. So now if we run the server and test it out, everything should still be working. So let's do that quickly just to make sure that looks good. Let's come in here and make our request. There we go. So we're still getting it. Everything is working correctly. Now we're going to talk about something called mixins. So one of the big features of using a class-based view is that it allows us to easily compose reusable uh, bits of code and behavior. So far, all of the operations we've done, so the delete, put, get, all this stuff, create, they've all been very similar. So those common behaviors are actually implemented in the Django REST framework's mixin classes. So let's take a look at how we can, again, refractor these views by using these classes. So again, in our views.py class, we're going to come up here. We're going to say from rest framework import mixins. And we also need from rest framework import generics. Then we're going to come down here to our post list and inside here we're going to pass in a couple things. So we're going to say mixins dot list model mixin. We're going to say mixins, whoops, make sure that's inside. We're going to say mixins dot create model mixin and we want mixins dot generic API view.
Perfect. And now inside of here, we first need to get all of the post objects. So we'll store that in a variable called query set. And that is getting it just like this, post.objects.all. And then we'll say serializer class is equal to post serializer. And here's where this mixins is really powerful. So you see we have all this code here. What we can do is say def get pass in self request arguments args and keyword arguments quargs here we go and then here all we need is one line so we can say return self dot list return the request and the args and the quargs just like that and we can same for post so we can say def post pass in the same stuff and return self dot create and then we can delete all of this and this will handle all the status for us as well similarly for the same thing here post detail class we can do the same thing so we need the mixins dot oops generic make sure to spell that right Okay, so we need the mixins.generic API view. We need the retrieve model mixin. We need the, that is mixins, remember. We need the upda update model mixins. Update model makes sense and we need the destroyer which is the delete so mixins dot destroy model mixins okay make sure you have all of that and then one change the generic api view is actually from generic not mixins okay there we go Perfect. And then here, just like up here, we need to grab our query set of all of the posts and we need to serialize that. And now we'll say def get pass in self request arguments and keyword arguments. And we will return self dot retrieve request and all of these arguments here. And then what I'm going to do is copy this, paste that two times there. We have a put and we have a delete. Let's delete all of this. You see we have all that code being deleted. And now we need to just change what we're doing. So we're retrieving it for the get. For the put, we are updating it, so dot update. And for the delete, we are using destroy. Okay, awesome. So throughout all of this, all we're doing is using the generic API view class to provide the core get put delete functionality and adding the mixins, which Django REST provides us to do all the actions we need, such as retrieve or update or destroy. So one last change we can do to this views class to go a step further is to use a set of already mixed in generic views that REST framework provides us. So as you can see, we already trimmed down our code quite a bit, but we, what we can do now is 
we can actually take away all of this. We can say generics dot list create API view. We need the query set equals post dot objects dot all, and we need this, but we can get rid of this now. We actually don't need that. And then and then down here for the detail view, we can get rid of all of this. And we can say generics dot retrieve update destroy API view. Oops. View. There we go. And all we need is to keep these two things and everything else can go. So as you can see, we got all of that code down to about six lines. So let's just make sure that works. Let's run the server. Okay, everything looks good. And let's make our request. There we go. We're still able to get data. So I know that seems maybe like a waste of time to kind of go through that whole process, but I think it's a good idea to do that so you can really understand what's going on behind the scenes and kind of appreciate everything that the REST framework gives us. So that's all for this video. In part four, we're going to take a look at authentication and permissions for this API.